Hello, welcome. This is the Start and Eleven Prediction Show. Liverpool taking on West Brom. And as you can see, Chris Pajak is still not here. But you know what? Fuck it. Who needs them? You know why? Because I got my team right last week. Oh, yes, I did. Because it, de- it, was, it was dead obvious. Dead obvious what team we were going to go with. And this week is exactly the same. Let's get stuck in. I'm going for a lot of carriers in goal, even though there is still a case to be made. Simon Mignolet come in, take a little bit of heat off him, but yeah, he's fine. He'll continue. And the more games he plays, the better he'll get. Right back, Nathaniel Klein. Centre back pairing of the obvious Joel Matip, Dejan Lovren. And if he passes a fitness test, now apparently there's a rumour that Milner might not play in this game. If he's fit, he will start. If he's not fit, Moreno will start, but then, you know, I can only pick one start on 11. This is what I'm going with. Uh, anchor in the midfield will be captain Jordan Henderson. Now, Lalana, I think, will be fit to start this game. Wijnaldum back in training, but even if Wijnaldum is back in training, I don't think he'll be rushed back for this because Emre Chan needs games. So Emre Chan will continue in a more advanced midfield role, but Adam Lalana will come back in and start the game because we need him, because we are not as good a team without him in there. Sadio Mane will continue to play and we'll be looking for more from him. Roberto Firmino will be restored to the centre-forward position and equally so will Phil Coutinho be back on the left-hand side of our attack. That is how I think the team is going to start. To gamble a little bit more and I've got the subs right if I'd remembered that uh, Clavin existed last week. So, Mignolet will be on the bench. Moreno, if he's not starting in place of the injured Milner, will be on the bench. Ragnar Klavan, who is a player who should have been on the bench for me last week, is in there. Wijnaldum, I think if he's there or thereabouts, I think he'll put him on the bench. I think it means, because of what we said in terms of the attacking players, it means a return to the substitute bench for Daniel Sturridge. And, although I could make a case otherwise, one, two, three, I think I'm missing a... No, I'm fine. Um, I've got one more to put on. I'll find that person in a moment. The case for Danny Ings to make it onto the substitute bench. I um, I think with Spurs looming, I think that's when we'll see the most changes. Throw me some options. Lucas? Give us a Lucas. Where is, Where is Lucas? Where have I put Lucas? I genuinely had Lucas Lever. He's on the bottom of the board. Thanks, Owen. <laughs> Lucas Lever. It's as simple as that. <laughs> Uh, so let us know your start 11 predictions in the comments below do you think I've got it right do you think I've got it wrong if we had to see Moreno come in for Milner how would you feel about that because again that is a, I think that is very much a potential um, if Milner's not fully fit because why would you risk him but other than that, yeah, I think that uh, I think that's all of Pug and Alana. If you agree or disagree, by all means, let me know in the comments below. And if you think that I should keep up doing these shows in the absence of Chris Pajak, unlucky, because I don't want to do them. And he's going to have to be back to doing them when he gets back in. Uh, anyway, he will be back from next week. I will be back for the Uncensored Match build-up show. And I'll be back post-match as well. So if you get bored of me, unfucking lucky That's how it is. Uh, anyway, thanks for watching. Subscribe, like, comment.